dear fellow Malaysians, we will soon be at the polling booths to decide on our parliamentary and some state assembly representatives. In St. Paul's letter to the Romans, we are informed that government is an authority instituted by God. Romans chapter 13. For those who govern are God's servants for our good and who punish wrongdoers. Romans chapter 13 verse 4. Therefore, it is our responsibility to choose wisely our political leaders as this is our sacred duty in nation building. In this video are some church leaders of the Christian Federation of Malaysia as well as some heads of churches making their wishes and prayers for Malaysia in GE 15. In Malaysia, let us remember people who are often not in the mainstream of development, especially the Orang Asli and communities outside cities and towns. There are many struggling families, widows, orphans, senior citizens and the poor. With this coming GE15, know your candidates in your constituency. Evaluate whether their actions benefit the vulnerable, elderly and the poor. On polling day, pray, go and cast your vote. This is your sacred duty for the good of our nation, Malaysia. As we approach another election, I pray for the future of our children and grandchildren. Their future is the future of our country. My wish is that they will have access to good education at all levels and no more admission quotas at university level. Secondly, our annual budgets must benefit all. Long after we are gone, they will be responsible for the debt of the nation. We must not squander their future away. A Malaysia for all Malaysians. This is my dream for our beloved nation. In the name of the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. My fellow Christians in Malaysia, soon we will cast our votes and decide on our representatives in our Dewan Rakyat and in some states, the Dewan Undangan Negeri. This is a solemn duty and responsibility of every Malaysian voter. God encourages us to seek the welfare of our beloved Malaysia and pray to the Lord on its behalf for in its welfare we will find our welfare. We pray for Malaysia in GE15 for the principle of the separation of powers of the executive, the legislative and the judiciary to be strengthened so that each can play its role effectively for the good of our beloved Malaysia. Let us prayerfully vote to this end. Amen. Malaysia is one of the most beautiful countries in the entire world. My wish for this coming 15th general election is for us to elect leaders who will recognize and also appreciate the beauty of our multiracial, multi religion, and multi culture society. We must have leaders who have the vision and the wisdom not to polarize but to unite and to and to leverage on the strength and the beauty of our multicultural multiracial multi-religion society and make Malaysia really the most beautiful country in the world my dear friends once again our nation is packed into political uncertainty our parliament is dissolved we are back to the pudding boots to elect a new government. In a multiracial and multi religious society like ours, we need to choose candidates or parties whose manifesto aim to build our nations by bringing together the support of the diverse communities, sectors and skills and is capable of overseeing this process. This coming general election is an exit test for us. It is also a wake-up call for us to fulfill our right and responsibility as citizens of this nation. So my friends, brand or shine, we must come out to what? For a better nation, a better future, and for the sake of our children and their children's children. Thank you and may God bless Malaysia. Sekolah Mubalik Bantuan Kerajaan telah wujud dalam negara ini selama lebih 100 tahun memberi pendidikan kepada semua kalangan masyarakat Malaysia melalui lebih kurang 400 buah sekolah membalik bantuan kerajaan. Doa saya ialah selepas pilihan raya ini kita dapat menerima dana secukupnya daripada kerajaan yang akan ditubuhkan supaya kita dapat 
tumpukan perhatian untuk meningkatkan mutu pendidikan yang diberikan di sekolah-sekolah kita. Terima kasih. My wish is for the right and righteous candidates for parliament and state assemblies. We must not elect those who are tainted by corruption and abuse of power. Corruption will destroy our beloved Malaysia. Dear Malaysians, I have many hopes and aspirations for my beloved country and one of them is to have a sustainable Malaysia. Clean air to breathe, lush green forests, clear flowing rivers. I hope we all have an ecological conversion, caring for Mother Earth so that she can care for us. I pray for candidates for GE15 to have climate change as priority as it is one of the principal challenges facing humanity today. We need each other, we need everyone to combat climate change and to have a sustainable Malaysia. We only have one common home and it is called Malaysia. So my dear fellow Malaysian Christians, we have heard some wishes and prayers for Malaysia in G15. What is your own wish and prayer for our beloved Malaysia? My wish is to see that our future generation will have our nation as a safe space to live in dignity as equal citizens, devoid of any discrimination. A nation that will live in harmony and unity, which is the platform for development and progress to be a successful and mature society. I am sure you are now craving attention to the candidates in your constituency in what they will say and what they do. At the same time, pray and seek God's guidance as to who to vote for to represent your interests and concerns. Then go out to vote and may God bless Malaysia.